and welcome to you go market update charts of the day for the 31st of may 2023 and we're looking at the last hour of the asx session and let's see what's coming across the wires of course we saw us markets mixed with only the nasdaq closing in positive territory with debt ceiling opposition appearing to increase on the republican side of congress the bill looks as though it's going to be put in front of the house on wednesday evening around about 8 30 new york time uh, that's going to be interesting to see if it gets through there. there's already a block of republicans suggesting they they may oppose it u.s futures are lower in asia and asian markets are generally lower cosby was outperforming early on but has also moved into the red asx is going to close near its lows of the session it was already down pretty close to a percent and then we had some hotter than expected cpi data came out european futures are pointing to a lower open also and we saw the VIX rise slightly from its lows. Uh, the US dollar is slightly down beneath its resistance level. Gold bounced off its short-term support, pretty neutral in Asia today. Pullbacks in copper, but a big pullback in oil in excess of 4% yesterday. Uh, again, not looking particularly rosy today. Uh, Bitcoin's near neutral today, just under that 28,000 level. And as well as that Aussie cpi number we had mixed pmi data out of china the manufacturing data was weak the service pmi was strong later on this afternoon we've got german jobs and cpi canadian gdp and chicago pmi we've got three fed members also due to speak and there's already been hints that there may be a rate rise in june uh, which is sort of contrary to what was expected but eyes will be on congress for the debt ceiling latest over the next 24 hours or so couple of charts have caught our eye uh, we're looking here at a four hour chart of the kiwi yen and uh, you can see here it's at a really crucial level uh, we've had a really weak morning today particularly uh, over the last couple of hours and this has pulled us down to around about this 83.75 it's a really important level and one to keep an eye on if we do breach this we could be down 75 pips very very quickly there does seem to be some strength in the yen at the back end of the asian session on the asx it's really hard to look past apx we saw this 275 breach yesterday and a strong move up again today the key level here is 327 uh, we can see here uh, that that was the high we hit in february also a high we hit in september last year we take this even further back uh, and you can see there was also lots of price action around that point again in september last year this breaches 327, massive amount of upside. Obviously, AI stocks are in focus. Uh, this is the outperformer on the ASX today. Trade safe, and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.